Hey guys, it's Anthony. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we talk about where the market went this past week, where we think the market's going in this coming week, and if you're looking to become a consistently profitable trader, definitely hit that subscribe button. I personally trade ES and NASDAQ futures, so if you trade that, you'll definitely want to subscribe. It's taken me just over two years to become consistently profitable. Lots of trial and error, lots of lessons learned, and lots of pain, but over time, it became more profitable. And if you're not yet, I believe you will as well. If you just stick with it and find a profitable strategy, follow your rules, and you'll become profitable over time. Give this video a thumbs up if you appreciate it. it Let me know that you like these kind of videos. So subscribe for more videos just like this. I post two videos a week, one every Wednesday night and Sunday at 12 p.m. So without further ado, let's just dive into the charts. We're taking a look at NASDAQ on the daily chart. Last video, I said I was in a short at about 15,538. My stop was above these highs and I was targeting these lows again. And I said first target, though I'd be taking off, is in this fair value gap from 15,140 to 15,355 and I took the I actually took most of it off at uh, 15,220 uh, this morning and I moved stops to break even on about 20% of it I'm pretty much out of it fully just because I, I really believe there's gonna be a bounce and I, I move my stop to break even and I think that I will probably get stopped out at about break even I think we're gonna get a little bounce but I don't know if the bounce is gonna come all the way up to 15,500. Might, might just come up to about like 15,400 tomorrow or next week and then continue back lower. The dollar broke out this week and we really wanna see that, so that's awesome. As you can see, I had this drawing. I basically think that we're gonna come down and below 14,600 before we cycle back up. And it's falling that pretty long nicely, but uh, I'm, I'm basically flat now. This trade worked out beautifully. Um, so far, just like a one to one, I took about 300 points on NASDAQ for the short. And I, I am expecting kind of a rebound because I saw some oversold readings in a few things. But let's take a look at what I really wanted to see, which was DXY. I'm really happy about this in terms of shorting NASDAQ because if you just look at the daily and the weekly, Last video, I said, if we get above 104.7, I'm going to be much more confident in holding shorts on the NASDAQ. Ever since that happened, we pretty much instantly fell from about 15,500 on the NASDAQ to 15,200. That was about 2% drop as soon as this happened. So that's a good start. And we're just going to have to follow along and see what happens with the dollar. But this is looking like, obviously, next target is 104.9. Uh, and then the fair value gap here at about 109. And, and like I said in the last video, if we get up to 109 on the dollar, lots of pain coming from the NASDAQ. I just think that we might see a bounce coming in the next coming days. So I am basically flat. I'm just holding some runners on NASDAQ and I have stops moved to break even. The VIX, it looks like we're potentially putting in a higher low. And I said this in the last video when we closed right here, I said we could be just basing here and pushing back up and it looks like we're doing exactly that. Question is, are we just gonna be rejecting here and pushing lower or are we gonna stay above this 50-day moving average? Uh, typically, if we hold above 50-day moving average, then we have more volatility. Remember, VIX and the market move inverse. So if VIX stays elevated, the market will continue to go down. If the VIX closes back below the 50 and then you know continues to push down, likely have a little bit of a rally coming for the market. So today's Thursday at 1 p.m. Let's see how this closes. If the VIX closes below 14.8, then we'll likely probably come down to fill the gap at 13.7 on the VIX, and which means that we'll have a, a, a rebound in the market. But if we close above, we could just continue to push back up and head towards 16 and 17 on the VIX, and then NASDAQ could just continue even lower and come down to retest about 15,000. So we're just gonna watch and see, and I don't have any thoughts right now. Like I said in the previous video, on the daily chart, NASDAQ and SP 500 are bullish. Why? Because we trended down, we made a low, we pushed up and we broke this lower high, and then we actually made a higher low, and then we made another higher high. Now, the question is, are we just put make are we making another higher low? Is this a third higher low before we cycle back up and take out 15,600 again? That's that's possible, but it's not likely to happen if the dollar stays strong. So, I'm going to be watching the dollar and the VIX. Obviously, if the dollar and the VIX stay elevated, I'm not expecting us to be able to take out these highs at 15,650 on NASDAQ. Taking a look at ES as well, uh, I basically thought we would come down to about 4,400, find some support, have a, a little counter, balance, uh, counter rally into about mid-September. So that's part of the reason why I'm taking off the NASDAQ short. I just think that we'll have a, a counter rally for about a week, possibly trade up into 4,500 on ES before rolling over. Or again, exact same setup on NASDAQ question is, is this another higher low and we're just going to keep going higher? Or are we just going to put in a lower high and roll over? Obviously, I'm in the camp that we're going to put in a lower high and roll over, but I just wanted to take off risk and uh, take most of the profits on my short because 
again, on the daily, we have a low, we have a higher low, and we have a higher high taking out this high. And now we could be putting in a higher low and cycling back up to 45.60 for another higher high. Another thing I took a look at is the banks. So XLF is the banks. And basically we pushed up, but we just kind of came and filled this gap and then sold off. So this looks pretty weak. It doesn't look like we got nearly as much of a push as we did on SP 500. If you can see SP 500, we came up a lot higher, but on XLF, it was a lot weaker and the banks are a big part of SP 500. So if we kind of just roll over and take out these lows, or if we just get a, you know, a rally up and put another lower high and roll over again, then it's likely that on ES, we're going to roll over again and take out 43.50, which is what I'm anticipating at some point by the end of September or beginning of October. But we're going to have to wait and see. So I just wanted to go over this quick update. I took profit on the short. I just have some runners and uh, either going to be stopped at break even or going to take profit at 40,600. So I'm just going to wait and see what happens there. But pretty much expecting a counter, counter rally uh, to come tomorrow, Friday, or next week. That's going to conclude this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you appreciate it. Let me know you like these kind of videos. So subscribe for more videos just like this. I post two videos a week, one every Wednesday night and Sunday at 12 p.m. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.